name is Patrick McGuinness. This is uh, Rory Ryan. We are here to give a brief demonstration of our final year project, the AHS, which is Automated Interior Handling System. Now, I'll hand you over to Rory and he'll give you a brief demonstration of the HMI and how it's operated. This is the HMI, it's Mitsubishi E1101. Um, we introduced the password at the beginning to save anybody who shouldn't be using it using equipment just for safety reasons. After the password, uh, press the button for the opens the system. Um, the start system button's already been pressed. Um, the display displays the amount of kits in the carousel, where they are. There's a queue for the jobs, and this displays the actual job queue itself. Um, along the bottom, there's no incoming jobs at the moment, which would be jobs coming from the CAT system. So to make an order, I press make an order, pick a kit, so I'm picking a kit number two, position six, and I'm going to say I want it first in the queue. So this position is now marked as empty. The queue has shown that there's going to, kit number two is in job number one. The current job is empty until I press confirm order. If I order a second kit, Kit number three, a red kit, I can put it second in the queue. This, this is now empty and vice the third, pick, third job is now pick kit three. If I confirm the order, the system moves kit two into the current job. When this job is complete, by a signal from the robot, this jo the next job in queue will move up and become the current job. The robot has now received a signal from the HMI directing it to uh, pick up a green box from position 6. The carousel is turning to bring the box to the robot. The robot is now going in to pick up the box. Now it's picked up the box and it's bringing it back to its drop-off location. Now the pallet is not in the drop-off location. It's, and as you can see, the robot's waiting. It'll be waiting in that position till the pallet is pushed back. It's, a, it's just a safety feature so that the box won't be dropped onto a conveyor belt. Now I'm going to move the pallet back into the position and as soon as it does, the robot will start moving again. So at this point of the order, the robot's bringing the kit box to the pallet, which is waiting. Uh, when the proximity sensor and the switch for the pallet are true, and um, waiting for a signal from the robot that the robot is in a safe position. When the safe position signal is given, the pallet will bring out the kit box via the conveyor belt. The system then waits until the operator collects the kit box as ordered, and the pallet will then return to the delivery of position beside the robot. Now the robot's after getting a signal from the HMI to go to tier 3 to pick up the red box at position 11. Now the robot's bringing the box to the position, it's a drop-off position. Now I also have built in a interrupt, and well, once the interrupt kicks in, it stops the robot from moving. And as long as the box is in that position, the robot will not move. And once the box is removed, the robot continues moving, where it will drop off the box onto the pallet and it will be delivered to the operator. Now this is a, the green box that's after been delivered back down to the robot and it's going to replace the box that was initially uh, delivered to the operator. Uh, it's going to pick the first box that's available uh, which will be position 2 up in the top tier.
the system is now ready to uh, receive orders from the HMI and deliver to the operator.